while uh while sony may be backing out there is some good news that comes along with this and i totally forgot about it and i last minute added it to the script and that was <laughs> <Yeah, that's laughs> so uh the, i totally forgot about this news piece but um i'm gonna make sure it's here so th- this this was like i think released pretty much just after we recorded the previous podcast so it didn't make it in and i forgot to make sure it gets it into this week's anyway so xbox has a bit of a leak so microsoft flight sim as you know that's getting some vr support we've talked about that however when they've gotten a lot of these updates related to that we have seen a bit a couple lines of code that suggest some very curious things and i'm going to verbatim this here um this is uh from screen rant by uh uh, Tr- Connor, what it? I don't know how to. Connor Trinsky, um, and apparently, so over on the F- Microsoft Flight Sim Simulator forums, user significant, signif- significant, <laughs> I don't know, uh, has posted their discover <laughs> their discovery of a few interesting lines from within the game's code. The string references both PC VR and Scarlet VR, along with file names for various editions of the game on both systems. Although this implies that the upcoming Xbox Series X will have some sort of VR capability. Signific says there's no way to know if the snippet of code is referring to an actual retail release or if it's for internal builds only. So that doesn't confirm anything, obviously. It's just some lines of code. It doesn't, Hmm. it does, it's not Microsoft being like, hey guys, we're making a VR headset. But I, I mean, who knows? Maybe they're just like preemptively getting some uh lines of code in there like this is where the vr stuff will go if (laughs) if microsoft does it um but i don't think that's the case this is i mean this is some very i mean scarlet vr is very i mean there was project scarlet for the longest time i think that was supposed to be the new xbox Mm -hmm. um and who knows maybe that rumor was only half true maybe project scarlet includes vr and they've been keeping that under wraps very very curious so hopefully as sony starts to show signs of backing out we might see some signs of xbox coming into this industry which would be super cool and perhaps even if sony does start backing out if xbox says that they're going to include a vr headset in in my mind they're (laughs) yeah in my mind they're already releasing like the xbox series x console looks just amazing from a consumer standpoint for so many reasons that i've been over before if they include vr along with this man sony has so much catch-up to do um so oh, i'm excited about this now i i if i for some reason in my head i swore that we talked about this but i guess i posted something on instagram and i guess that was after this but mm-hmm. i in my head i was so certain that we had talked about this i didn't put it right. on here i just i, was I like, just checked the last script i was like didn't did we not talk about it? And we didn't. <laughs> That's so, so yeah, there's been, I know there's been some speculation around like this might be why, maybe this is why Microsoft partnered on the reverb G2. Maybe they're going to just make the G2 also work on the Xbox, which Ooh. I mean, it's totally Ooh. powerful enough. <laughs> it's totally powerful enough to do it. And there wouldn't be any reason not to, but that's the one thing that kind of sucked in my mind. I was kind of hoping like if they make some Xbox specific VR headset that has something cool or different about it, I'm not to buy a freaking Xbox, but if it's <laughs> just a G2, then that's not really going to pull me into buying a console. Cause I can just get one for, a, for the PC if I wanted to. But I'm kind of mm. hoping. I'm kind of hoping it's not just the G2. I'm hoping there's some new headset coming that's got something different about it. I don't know what it would be. I just I would love an excuse to actually get an Xbox game because I haven't owned one since the 360, and I don't plan to unless VR comes to it and it's something different. So I don't know. You this see, got me a little hopeful. This is this is just so silly because this is the exact same situation we were talking about with PlayStation. Uh-huh. If they incorporate the G2 into the Xbox, it's not going to be enough to get the PC VR players to switch over and get an Xbox. That's not what they're going for. It's for people that already have an Xbox. But if you're deciding between should I get an PlayStation or should I get an Xbox like most people do when a new console comes out? Well, if you're into VR, you're going to be swinging towards the Xbox and having that G2 capability, which is going to be one of the more impressive headsets on the market, is going to be a really big draw. And with G2 yeah. being basically inside or with the G2 being inside out tracking, it's going to be fantastic because you don't need like the PlayStation camera, you don't need external sensors, you just plug it in and it works. That's going to mm. be a big deal. 
Yeah, for sure. Now, this is all speculation, of course. We don't know anything. And I think that, you know, we, we really know that snippets of code in there don't really mean anything definitively. Um, I mean, I'm a developer. I leave snippets of code in there that I've forgotten about way long ago. This could just be like an experimental project. It's like, maybe theoretically, let's play around with bringing VR to Xbox. And then they right. ditched it like a year and a half ago and haven't thought about it. You know, this is pure speculation. Speculation, But if it is true, that would be awesome. And it would mean that, you know, a new player has entered <laughs> into the VR scene. My another de- one. Another one, yeah. My biggest worry with this is Microsoft has a history with VR of doing too little, too late, and not believing in it. And so now, if the Quest 2 is out there and it's dominating all the sales, I worry that Xbox, even if they did do this, they launched the G2 and they're all excited and no one buys hardly any of them for the Xbox and they find out there's no market share on the Xbox. That's just going to be one more nail in the coffin of VR from Microsoft's perspective because they're going to be like, oh, look, we tried again and it didn't work again. (laughs) So I hope that's not the case. I hope if this happens, I kind of hope it's something better or newer or just different than the G2. I hope it's something kind of Xbox specific that gives people a reason to also go for it rather because if you already own a PC, then like, what's the point of hooking it up there? So I hope, Mm -hmm. I hope, I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> oh, any if if it did come to Xbox, would you what exclusively would you like to see? Maybe like a Halo VR? Could you imagine? I would play some Halo VR. <laughs> oh as gosh. long as there's co-op. Uh, I haven't played Halo in a long time. I only ever played it with friends. So if there was Halo VR, oh yeah, I would play the crap out of that as long as it had a made, mode to play with your friends. Halo VR, oh, right? I, get so I know. I I, <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was looking at our chat. It's like Xbox exclusive, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Halo VR would be the <laughs> coolest thing in the entire world. Exclusive. <laughs> I, I was one and one of the previous things I was talking about things I want most as like VR get regular games to come to VR, and one of my top pick was Sea of Thieves, which is, is an a, Xbox. Oh, I didn't know it was an Xbox. That, I mean, Xbox, it's it's yeah. on. Um, these days, Xbox exclusive more also means PC. Windows and Xbox exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um, Which is so a good thing for the industry. <laughs> right. Uh, that, uh, again, Xbox is doing so many good pro-consumer things right now. It's crazy. Um, so, the, <laughs> man. Okay, if they came out with more VR support for the Xbox games because of the Xbox getting VR, that would mean that so many of those games would also be on Windows and probably also have VR support there. <laughs> Which is yeah. so great because Sony right now, whenever there's a VR game that gets their exclusivity, it means no one else gets to play it. So, again, I can I can only get so erect. But again, this is all speculation, <laughs> and I think that only time will tell. Yes. yes.